Comrades, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm really honoured uh, to be here uh, sharing the same stage with Xi uh, Jinping. Uh, he's like, uh, like walking the Wikipedia for the leftist movement uh, here in Singapore, and I will be just mildly reading out from textbooks and some colonial books. So, uh, as they say, save the best. For the uh, take the best for the last, so uh, I'll, I'll not take a lot of time uh, for my presentation and uh, give more uh, to the chief to cover a lot of things on the leftist movement uh, in Malaya. Uh, Chu, do I have to answer all the questions? <laughs> well, some of the questions were touching on the Article 153, and it's really, uh, really good with the government. <laughs> Okay, uh, so uh, before that, I just uh, would like to go uh, uh, a little bit on the uh, uh, <coughs> Ganapati struggle. Uh, the title will be, my, or the presentation will be From Social Reformist to Independent Fighter. How from Social Reformist he formed, and then he formed to be an independent fighter, okay? Independence for the country, and back in 1948-47 when you have this. Uh, Putra AMCJ struggle for people constitution. So I will be touching on that uh, uh, point of view as well. And uh, as uh, I would like to uh, recall what uh, Professor uh, Mani here, Professor Mani here, he said it just uh, what I see is I agree with him. Tim Chi Siong is a continuation of his Okay. So uh, Moving on to this uh, slide, I would like to share some of the some of the uh, uh, tributes done by you know, uh, uh, prominent uh, figures in the Malay about Ganapati. But Ganapati was hanged. Okay, so we see here uh, uh, a tribute done by John Brazier, first March 1947. See, John Brazier is a trade unionist in back in Britain. He was with the uh, Britain Railway, and uh, the the British government actually invited him, uh, appointed him as the uh, trade union advisor to Malaya. The main, the main task is to neutralize the radicalism in trade union in Malaya at the time. Okay? So, being a trade unionist, okay, you find that a lot of things that, uh, that he has done, that he, he has said, is does not go parallel with the aspiration of a trade union, trade union unionism. Uh, especially, uh, you know, I find it that at the end of the day, he just struggled uh, instead of neutralizing the PMT, PMFTU, where Pan Malaya Federation Trade Union is a trade union that represented Ganabadi, uh, that Ganabadi represented. He just struggled that to that. Struggled to that. Okay? So, here's what, what he has to say. I cannot quite mention a, name, a word about Mr. Ganabadi who has been condemned to death for breaking the law. Though Mr. Ganabadi has wrong political conviction, his sincere service to the workers for a law cannot be forgotten. In appreciation of this service, it is but right to express our sympathy to him in his dark days. We hope that those responsible would recognize his service to the ignorant and poor workers and appreciate the amount of sympathy that he has been given in the minds of those who have greatly appreciated by his service. He benefited by service. So this is a man uh, who is just like a rival to uh, Ganabadi. is talking about Ganabadi. And uh, it go more further where you have the world recognition. World, the world is paying tribute to Ganabadi. When Ganabadi was hanged, this is what the World Federation Trade Union have to say. Okay? It's a bit lengthy. I just read it. The WFTU openly declared that the situation existing today is due to inhuman exploitation of Malayan workers by foreign monopolies and trusts, as well as to the desire of British authority to inherit the spirit of resistance and the means of action of the Malayan workers. Furthermore, our organization can in no way stand aloof from the event in Malaya since the mission of WFTU is precisely that of defending and assi assisting the workers of the world where, wherever they are, uh, uh, whatever their na uh, nationality, race, religion, politics and uh, philosophy opinions. Okay? So, 
They, they say, but no, I, I just cut it short. By praying, by uh, uh, paying tribute to the memory of Mr. Ganapati and Vira Sedan, the F, uh, WFTU officially informed the United Nations of the fresh violation of trade union liberties and those uh, and these attacks on the life and the rights of men. The WFTU energet, uh, energetically protests also to the British government. So it is kind of like a protest. Okay, see. And, and we have another protest as well. Very strong language. Okay, from Harry R. Bridges. He's, he's the, the president of the International uh, Longshore and Warehouse Union uh, in US. He said, more than 15,000 patients have been jailed, flogged, tortured, killed by the British authority for the past, for no other crime but uh, that of the but of belonging of uh, union and advocating the British get out of their country and leave it to the people who truly own it. Okay? And, and he also said, uh, interestingly he said, uh, uh, it is carried out with weapon and money produced and furnished, uh, furnished by the people and the trade union members of the United States. So this is what, because you understand that they have a very good relationship, uh, US and UK, you know, Britain. So they, they, they give it money uh, and weapon. And what happened is that this weapon is being used against the trade unionism in uh, Southeast Asia, generally in, in Malaya. In, in India, okay, the state Calcutta, it's a news by news, uh, uh, paper owned by the British, say, they say that execution is a draconian punishment and that the death sentence for the carrying arm should be tempered in a particular to check the leniency. Okay, so Ganamadi, uh, I'll come to what is the crime by Ganamadi. And then they also say now, those who have committed these offenses should be removed from the white court, from the government. Okay, the government must must uh, must, uh, 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 must show a strong protest. Uh, the British government must show a, a, a strong protest to sack all those responsible for his death. This is in India, and then you can also see the Nagpur Social Party. They wanted to announce that 15 May 1949 should be the Shahid Ganapati Day in India. They want to celebrate it. Okay. And, uh, and also you have the uh, very well-known socialist and trade unionist Asoka Mehta telling that the institution is like a pendant in the Commonwealth chain recently forged in London. Okay? So at this time when Ganabadi was executed, they, they actually signed an understanding, a, a Commonwealth understanding to include India in the Commonwealth uh, organization. Okay, so that is where that is where all these things happen. Okay, so a little bit briefly on Ganapati. Okay, Ganapati was born in India. Okay, and uh, before that, I, I just want to share one 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 uh, uh, incident that happened to me. That uh, some twenty years ago, I met one uh, drama artist. He has done a lot of plays. He has written a lot of plays, and uh, it happened that our conversation at that time, I, I was not aware of much on Ganabadi. So our conversation actually went into like uh, into like uh, what the Indians were doing during the Japanese and after the Japanese. And one inter interesting uh, uh, story that uh, that he told me about Ganabadi, which it's, uh, it's quite uh, shocked me at that, at that moment and triggered me to look for what who is this Ganabadi. He said, you know, uh, he as a drama artist, as a script, uh, as a drama artist, they, in, this is 1955. They actually conducted, I mean, they put a play in Luang. And you have Luang and you know a lot of Indians, uh, plantation workers, you know, around Luang. And then, in, in the scene, in the scene, this particular scene where it was, take, it, 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 is, it is to be like, the background is set like it is happening in India. So this, the conversation between a mother and a son, the characters, huh? So the son is expressing to the mother, Say, I want to go to Malaya for employment. Get a job, work there. The mother, okay, she replied, Oh God, son, do not go there. Of all the places you want to go to Malaya, why Malaya? That is the place where they hang the Ganabadi. After the 
So, after the drama, the next day, the police came and they arrested the director, the one who write the play, and few of them. And they were locked up for three days. Because they were so afraid, you mentioned Ganabadi's name. So that powerful, after six years, Ganabadi was hanged, you know. The moment he said his name, they want to get you. Say, don't call him. So that actually triggers me to find out who is this Ganabadi. Okay? So, we found out that Ganabadi was born in Tanjavur, okay, in India, 1970. This is based on uh, uh, a telegram written by Henry Gurney. Okay, he migrated to Singapore in 1929. Okay, he joined the, it is said that he joined the MCP huh, in 1939, sorry, 1939. He was captured and beaten by the Brit uh, Japanese army in March 1942. In 1943-45 he was working for INA. Okay, in November 45 he was appointed as the Secretary of General Labour Union. From 46 to 47, he worked actively to expand the control of General Labor Union. Okay? And then, he was also at that time, the Central Committee member of CPM. Okay? And he was also an editor for the, the newspaper called Bunani. At 7th February 1947, he was elected as the President of Pan Player Federation Trade Union with 4,500 members. That is the most powerful, huge trade union ever existed at that time. I don't know whether nowadays you have that kind of number in proportion. You don't see the number but in the proportion. Okay? It is almost like 60%, 60, 65% of the uh, of the trade workers okay, are in the trade union. And that trade union is family Federation trade union. And for the Indians, they say it's 98% Indian unions are under the family Federation of trade union. Okay? In March 1447, he represented Malaya to Asia Relationship Conference in India and under his uh, leadership, May 47 was, was celebrated in Singapore with 50,000 participants. That is the biggest. The following year, 1948, uh, when, uh, uh, when the Singapore Federation Trade Union announced that this year we are going to have 100,000 the government spent. Immediately, they banned any procession, they banned any uh, gathering, they banned any rally on trade union. Immediately. So, the uh, general, uh, Secretary General of BMFTU, Cheng Lu, had to call it up and say that they were, they were, they were afraid that uh, they will be used, the force, the military force will be used to curb the rally. Okay? So, uh, and, and Ganabadi is also a main man. At that time, he led. The, the leadership of Pan Malaysia Federation Trade Union in the AMCJA in Putra struggle. In 19, June 48, after they, uh, they announced the uh, emergency, he has gone underground. And 1st March 1949, he was captured in Rawa, he was arrested in Rawa. 15 March, he was tried and sentenced to death for possession of illegal 0.45 revolver. He was carrying a revolver and a six round of ammunition. Okay, like bullet. Huh? Okay, so the Supreme Court rejected his appeal on 1st March 1949. Uh, then the uh, Slango State Council also uh, sorry, uh, 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 confirmed that uh, he is to be hanged. 4th May 1949 was hanged in Kudu. There was very interesting thing is, there was a telegram from the British Prime Minister, Clement Attlee, was sent to Henry Gurney on 3rd May. It was recorded, the time is 20 hours, that means 8 o'clock night in London. And that telegram should have reached around approximately 4, 4.30 in the morning. Okay? No action was taken. And at 7.30 in the morning, Henry Gandhi writing a letter, telegram, back, replying back telegram to the Prime Minister, telling them, I'm very sorry, Ganabadi has been hanged. Nothing can be done. And he gave a very lengthy explanation why he cannot bring this to the uh, uh, Sultan. Because the, the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister actually is asking, can you see the Sultan and get a reprieval, a reprieval of his case? So he's writing a full, very lengthy letter and saying, at the end of the letter he said, uh, if you're not happy, if you're not happy with this, I will resign from from my position as the 
uh, High Commissioner of Malaya. So after that, uh, the colonial office decided, okay, you don't have to resign, we accept your history, we accept your explanation, and we try to explain this to India. Okay? So there is very, very interesting uh, 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 part okay, on his death. Okay, now we see who actually influenced Ganabadi. He came to Singapore at the age of 12. Okay, so you must have something to, to somebody to uh, influence you. Okay? So we feel, I mean, some of the uh, uh, research I've done, I found these two person who's very relevant to his, uh, his uh, struggle. One is Ime Rawasami, is known as Periyar, and also another person called Singar Vela. Okay? Singar Vela is the founder of Tamil Nadu Communist Party. In, 19, in April 18, he is the first uh, trade union founder in India. It's called Metras Labor Union. Okay? In 1923, he is the first one to organize the first May Day celebration in India. And he is the first one to address the communist meeting in, in uh, I can't remember, it's not India, with the word comrade. First one to use comrade in India. Before these people never used the word comrade. So he's the first one to use comrade. So he has been writing to, he has, he has a very close relationship with Iwe Ramasamy, and he has been writing his uh, 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 Sindhara Vela's uh, uh, contribution is being published in Kudiyarsi. Kudiyarsi is a, is a newspaper uh, which is run by Iwera, Iwe Ramasamy. So he says that the reference movement and the Communist Party should work together to save the Tamil labels from the clutches of the both religion and economic exploiters. This is in India. Okay, this is in India. And take note that Iwe Ramasamy has visited Malaya and Singapore in 1929. Okay, when this is like uh, when Ganabadi was 12 years old. Okay, I, uh, so Ganabadi in a lot of speeches by one uh, professor called uh, Subhavira Party in, 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 in India, he said Ganabadi has a lot of admir admiration for Ivera's uh, work on eradicating the caste discrimination and even Ganabadi was said to have to send three uh, volunteers from Singapore when Ewe Ramasamy was conducting the anti-Hindu protest in 1937 and two of them have been prisoned, sorry, three of them have been prisoned two of them served 18 months prison in India they served and then after two years they came back to Singapore so that much of relationship you have and the next question is why now Ganabadi never participated in the protest himself because Ganabadi, in his letter to Iwe Ramasamy, said he has other things to do. I will come to that. Okay? Okay. Let's move on to see okay, the impact of Iwe Ramasamy's movement. The San Francisco movement is also known as the Travadian Nation. The Travadian Nation first organized by a Sangam of a, a society called Agambadiyar Society. This is a, a caste society and it is meant to repress class lift up society. Okay? It is meant to, uh, to lift up uh, those being uh, uh, discriminated by caste. Okay? And this is the first, first uh, uh, this is based on a, a document, I mean this was study done by Rajeshwari Ambalavana and she has mentioned this and then also Stenson. And then they said that the, the movement later become the Tamil reform at uh, movement in 1930s. Okay? So the speculation is here that Ganabadi is also very closely associated to Agamadiyar Sangam society because it is believed that Ganabadi belongs to this Agamadiyar caste. Okay? So even though it's big, you know, that, 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 that caste association actually happened to be a reformist uh, that, that planted the reformist seed in Ganabadi. Okay, so with these, uh, the, the, the ideas of Tamil reformation is, is uh, carried out in journalistic activities, especially on Moon term, which is like 1929 in Singapore, Sri also 1931, and Tamil Munas in 1935. All these, all these newspapers in Singapore have been continuously, continuously educating the people, advocating the, the idea of Tamil reform, okay, self referencing movement. Okay, there's been an assessive, uh, assess, uh, sorry, extensive report of Travadian movement in South India and then they also 
propagate the reformist idea of Agamaliya Sangam and Tamil Reform Association.